Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tax Upper channel. Today, in this video, I am going to showcase how to create a table in select single component. So guys, before I begin, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates and learn more and more. Now, let's begin and let us understand what that use case mean is. So sometimes you need to create a table in a select single component. Generally, we use select single to show a single value like employee code, the email addresses, like country details, and blah. But along with this, sometimes we have a need to look at the complete details of an country or the employee details and something else. So how we can achieve the same thing in Visual Builder? So let's see with a example with a, all the required steps that we need to use to achieve this use case. So I will take you to the VB screen where there's a business object created with name employee, wherein I have some columns, department, employee code, first name, ID, and the last name, M, and some few records as well. Now let us see how we can create a table from this data in a select single component. What I am going to do, I am going to create a new web application, let's say, application and let's say click on a create button now so you know there's a component called select single which will be used to populate the data so let's do this so this is the select single component let's select it go to the quick start and click on an add options so this add options will open the data sources using which we can populate it, be it service connection, be it your business objects. So click on this add options and click on an employee business object and click on an X button. Now on the label, on the value, whatever value you want to show as a label, put it here. Let's say this is employee code and as a value, let's say this is IT. Let me enter a placeholder, let's say, select user details. Generally, we don't use include in a raw data. So if you need more data, more fields in the endpoint, in the SDP variable, so one SDP variable will be created. And in that SDP variable, you will see only the employee code variable and then ID. But if you need more, you can drag and drop in this include in raw data department last name and then first name so i need these three more and next and then finish i go to the general and i will remove this label hint select single fine now if i go back to the variables tab you see employee list SDP. And if I go to the types, you can see here I have add, I have all the fields which I have added in include in raw data. So if I have not done this, this will, this will, this will, and one, two, three should not be part of this item. Now you can see you can go to the live mode, and here you can see I can see the employee code. But apart from employee code, I also wanted to populate the first name, last name, employee code is already there and department as well. So go back to the design mode, sorry. Go to the design mode and go select this component, select general, come here and here we are going to use one collection template. Click on this plus button and choose table. So whatever view you wanted to show, to show that, but I wanted to show the table. Let's select it. Now here's my table. Now, if you go to the structure, select this table and go to the data and bind it with your 
current dot data. And here, these are the column that I need to add. Whatever column I wanted to show here, I will add it. So I'll go here and add a new amputee column and double click here to add the header. Let's say employee code. And then you need to add from which field the employee code will be populated. So I will click here and will give the exact field name, the field which is there in my business object, which is EMP code. I can copy this or I don't, don't need EMP code. If I go back and if I, I go to the live mode, now here you see, I need to add more. So what I'm going to do, I am again going back to the design and let's add more here, first name and select it and give the exact field name, first name, come back, last name, last name, and then one more, let's say department. And select this arrow to give the fill name. Fine. Now, if I go back to live mode, I can see all the fill is here. Now, I wanted to search. If I search Krishna, I cannot. I only can search the data from the employee code, which is four, five, six, something like this. Because earlier we have used employee code to populate this. But what I want, I wanted to search from all the fields. So what you have to do, you have to go to the variable, select it, and here we have one field attribute called text filter attribute. So here, this is the employee code, which is used to filter. So you can give all the fields which you want to use as a filtration criteria as well. Let's say first, first name, last name, and department. So I wanted to filter the record from all those fields. Now go back to the page designer and let me preview this. Now here, let me search with our gen. You can see, let's say IT, let's say Ankur. So you can see all those filtered record as well. And this is how you can create a tabular format in select single in visual builder. So guys, that's all about this. If you like this video, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe, my, to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Thank you. Bye-bye.